Dear learners and listeners, welcome to NIOS. Today we are going to do our last uh, topic of uh, your self-learning material which is involvement of parents and community in a play center. This is lesson number 30 of module 6b of your self-learning uh, material at senior secondary level. So let's begin. Guiding the development of children should be a cooperative endeavor a two-way process between parents and teachers, play centers and home. Neither can work effectively without the understanding, support and assistance or assistance of each other. The parent and a teacher need to see the child as a whole in order to provide appropriate guidance. The quality of teacher-parent relationship during this period will have an influence upon the child throughout the formative years. So dear learners, as far as the objectives of today's programs are concerned, so at the end of this program, you will be able to explain the need for play center home relationship, why it is important and you would be able to understand that what are the scope and methods of parents involvement in a play center, that is how can we involve the parents as well uh, in a play center. Also you would be able to explain the importance of involvement of the community in a play center and you would also be able to enumerate the role of Mahila Mendels in a play center as well as what are the various support services that are available in the community you would be able to uh, know about that as well at the end of this program. So let's begin uh, with the first objective which is uh, the play center and home relations. The family has a significant role in the personality development of a child which we all know. It sets the stage for the development of many important characteristics both inside and outside the play center. Parents are the first socializing agents for the child. Then comes the play center or the preschool uh, personals that is those who are there in the play center. Therefore, play center and home need to work efficiently and cooperatively with proper understanding of each other. The teacher cannot understand the child's interests, needs, motivations without an intimate knowledge of his or her home. Only when the teacher works with the parents can she be able to create a healthy and favorable environment in the play center. The play center and home need to work efficiently and cooperatively with proper understanding of each other. The teacher cannot understand the child's interests, needs and motivation as already mentioned without the intimate knowledge of his or her home environment. Only when the teacher knows that what are the likes and dislikes of the child and what kind of a home environment the child is coming from, the teacher will be able to provide a healthy and favorable environment in the play center. So what is the importance of uh, uh, the, uh, the relationship between the play center and the home environment? The play center home relations help to create a better understanding between parents uh, and teachers assuming what children are like. Second, uh, it would also be able to create a better understanding with regards to what a play center is and would also be able to provide the opportunities for parents to meet other parents and learn from their experiences. So that is why the play center and the parents relationship is an important characteristics for running a play center or for the healthy development of a child. It also helps in understanding of emerging techniques in the child rearing and child training. If these goals are achieved, the children will have a nourishing, rich and full life in the play center and at the home. The teacher is perhaps the best agent through whom new trends could be communicated to the parents. Now, the very important point comes here that once we know that what is the importance of parents and the play center management, why it is important, then we should also know that how to make play center home relationship more effective. So let's understand about this. In order to make the play center home relations effective, it is very important that a teacher should understand the needs, feelings, expectations of each of the parents because only then she would be able to provide the appropriate environment to the child. Her focus should be on attending uh, to what uh, the parents want uh, from the teacher as well as she should be able to cater to the needs of the parents regarding their child and achieve good cooperation from them. 
also the teacher should respect all the parents for whosoever they are and she should be comfortable uh, and free and friendly with uh, other parents and she should be willing to learn from parents if the teacher has such an attitude only then she would be able to relate with the parents of the child and when she relates well with the parents of the child then only she would be able to do her duty well of for managing the kids in the play center as well as providing them a healthy environment for their healthy growth she should also be able to convey the fact that the teacher is interested in the welfare of the child and she seeks cooperation of the parents to do her job more efficiently also the teacher should avoid being defensive and putting the parents at ease she should show willingness to accept parents suggestions also the teacher should be a good listener it is very important because unless she uh, listens to what the parents problem is she would not be able to help the parents in managing the child or help the child uh, for a healthy development and she should also encourage the parents to communicate uh, whatever they want from the uh, teacher uh, whatsoever help they would want that the teacher can help them in uh, making their child understand few things then uh, the teacher should avoid discussing about the child with the parents in the child's presence because uh, in that case the child becomes little little conscious she should also avoid drawing hasty conclusions and remarks uh, re about the child it is very important that the teacher should be positive and she should be less critical of the children because they are actually little kids so she should be impartial and she should not be uh, comparing the child with uh, other children in the play center also she should avoid bossing over the children she should uh, deal with them politely in the play center in order to maintain sound and effective play center home relations the teacher must aim towards creating positive relationship with the parents and that would be possible only if the teacher follows uh, what we have just discussed now let's try to understand that what is parental involvement and how parental involvement can be done the caregiver or the teacher in a play center often acts as a second parent the relationship of caregiver with parents must be strong and based on mutual respect and trust the child actually brings the parents and caregivers together towards a common interest play centers should be an extension of the home and supplement the home that is it should be a home away from home hence programs for parents constitute an important aspect of the play center however effective they may be play centers cannot stimulate optimum development of children unless they work in close collaboration with parents scope of parental involvement in a play center is that uh, parental involvement is a process of actually actualizing the participation of parents of helping parents discover their strengths potentialities and talents of using them beneficially for the healthy growth of a child so parent involvement in a play center actually enables the reduction of financial burden on play center budgets by supplementing paid personals teachers uh, it also helps teachers to conduct more meaningful and individualized play activities through parental help because once they communicate uh, the needs of their child to the parent then only the teacher would be able to conduct more meaningful activities and individualized play activities for a particular child and also the parent involvement also enables parents to learn and become better equipped to accomplish their role effectively so this was that why parental involvement is necessary and how parental involvement can be done now there are various methods to do the parental involvement let's talk about these methods so the first method is that uh, uh, with the help of informal talks parents can be involved uh, in the play center now what are informal talks the teacher meets the parents when they come to leave the children in the play center in the morning or fetch them back in the afternoon through informal talks with parents mutual relationship is established second is through parents meeting regular parents meetings become a means of learning for parents both informally and formally to know the play center's goals activities and evaluation uh, lectures demonstrations dialogues and aids like film cassettes books models exhibit and uh, puppetry can be used to educate the parents next is the social functions 
accompanying for picnic or field trip with the children provides an opportunity for parents to get to know teachers and perhaps from friendship network and support many mothers might willingly come and lend a helping hand to the teacher in managing the children it is first hand experience for them to know how to channelize the curiosity and creativity of children at various stages festivals and games at the play centers can be planned in such a way that both the children and parents enjoy themselves home visits can also be a method for this One of the most important ways of collecting the required information is through home visits. The teacher makes an appointment with the parents and inform them that she would visit uh, them at home. The teacher observes the home setup and tries to help the child suitably. Next is the parent education. It is very important that parents may meet together and gain knowledge and skills through educational classes that are conducted once a month. or once in two months at the play center these meetings or classes can be organized on themes uh, which parents prefer like immunize like immunization oral rehydration therapy stories for children and toys toys from waste materials might benefit the parents then is uh, the last one which is the individual discussion this also helps in the uh, parents involvement some parents may not like to talk uh, about their uh, child's problem in a meeting but may fi- find it easy to express their difficulties uh, when they meet the ch- uh, teacher uh, individually so such parents if given an opportunity to discuss the teacher can help the teacher to understand the child better the individual dialogue or discussion can either be planned or it can be a casual one not all parents want to be involved in the same way sensitivity to the uniqueness of individual parents and their needs are essential to promote parental contributions when parents are involved in making decisions they feel responsible and will have greater commitment to the play center with the help of a group of cooperative parents the teacher can chalk out the parents program for the whole year and entrust appropriate tasks to them at the end of the year the teacher should review and see which of the parents programs were successful and which of them failed this process might ensure better planning for involvement of parents in the play center or in future as well the last is the community involvement how can community be involved in running the play center or in helping the play center staff The community includes all the members in the families in the immediate neighborhood community workers and the personnel working in the various institutions an understanding of the community to which the play center caters is imperative on the part of the teacher she or he could ask herself a few questions and discuss them with the families in the community so these questions are for example are the children in the community healthy and well nourished what are the problems faced by them What are the food habits of the family? What are their preferences? Do the mothers breastfeed their children? When do they introduce semi-solid food to the child? Do they eat green leafy vegetables and yellow fruits and give these to their children? Do the parents permit them to play? What kind of play facilities do the children have? Do they get their children immunized immunized? If not, why? How do the families use preschool facilities? is there a primary school in the community how about the environmental sanitation in the community what is the source of drinking water in the community is it safe does it lead to diarrhea and other diseases are there any common diseases or epidemic in the area what measures are taken to control them is there any developmental program going on in the community or what is the community leader and which are the associations functioning in a play center If you look look at all these questions you will realize that answers to these questions provide an understanding about the community which is so important for a teacher of the play center to have there are other members also in the community that can be of help members of the community mothers older girls and boys may be involved in various aspects of running the play center which is as follows it can help in maintaining the play center clean and safe Developing a garden at the play center also can be helped by others in the community. It also ensures safe.
safe drinking water supply for the play center. Cooking and serving nutritious food can also be uh, helped by uh, these people. It also helps in gathering mothers and others for meetings and educational classes. They also help in involvement in the play center through teaching songs, games, stories and dramatization etc. And also helps in organizing festivals at the play centers. It also helps in eliciting communities help in equipping the play center adequately. That is for example if the play center needs to be fenced. Then or such members in the community can help in uh, these kind of activities. They help the teacher in any other uh, activities as well that are related to play center management and they help in maintaining play equipments of the play center. In fact, the members of the community can be involved in every activity of the play center. So this was about what are the community involvements uh, in the play center. Now what are the community contributions? The community may also be involved in contributing resources to the play center which is listed in the upcoming slides. Uh, it can be involved in the supply of food material like grains and pulses. These may be procured at the time of harvesting. Uh, local vegetables especially the green leafy and yellow vegetables also can be made available and uh, also the local fruits. They can also contribute in the equipment for the play center like the old tires, wood beams etc. Uh, the waste materials from the household or from artisans, for example, the empty plastic boxes, cartons, beads, old toys, pieces of cloth, wool, old newspapers, magazines, pieces of wood, potters, clay and so on can be gathered from uh, these communities and uh, the cash donations. It is very important to remember to keep a record of any cash received as well as uh, it's used carefully. It can also be done by the contributions of the community. Community involvement can be assessed in the terms of active involvement of the individuals, local leaders, institutions and organizations in providing support for establishing and running a place center. The community's involvement will be a function of the contribution made by them in the form of land, building, food, fuel, labor, material and cash for the establishment of the play center. The progressive involvement of the community would be reflected in the increased mobilization and utilization of local resources. Enhanced contribution and participation by the individuals and beneficiaries. Then uh, as I discussed in the beginning that we would also be discussing uh, that what is the role of Mahila Mandals in running a play center. Mahila Mandals are registered local women organization. We must know that what are Mahila Mandals. So Mahila Mandals as I said are the local women organization. They can play vital role in running a play center by enthusing parents to support play center, motivating them to enroll their children, collecting aids and play material for the play center, also by holding meetings uh, regularly, creating awareness in the community regarding the importance of a play center for young children. Also, these Mahila Mandas promote uh, community participation for the successful running of a play center. Now, there are other support services also which help in running of the play centers. An important factor in organizing a play center is social support. The term social support refers to the nature and ex extent of the social networks to which a person has access. Anyone who has extensive social support has served people to depend on for encouragement advice and help. The organizations that help in establishing a place center are the Central Social Welfare Board New Delhi, Indian Council for Child Welfare New Delhi, Directorates of Social Welfare in different states. These organizations sponsors place centers, creches, preschools for the needy groups of the children. So dear learners, this was all about today's program in which we talked about the involvement of community and the parents in the play center, what are the various methods for it and what are the other organizations that are helping in running the play center. With this, I end up for today's program. I hope you have understood the topic well. Thank you.